Yo, what's up guys, it's Handy Design. Today I'm gonna be showing y'all how y'all can make this image right here in Photoshop. Yeah, let's get started. All right guys, so first things first, I just found this picture of a sky. I just looked up sky and uh, press Control U. Brings up this hue and saturation and I just uh, change around the hue until I find a color I like. I picked uh, this yellow right here, turn down the saturation. And then I just brightened it up a little bit right here. Just with the brightness uh, adjustment layer, just right here, brightness. Just turn it up. Right here, you can see I made some of the clouds darker. I added this dark spot right here, but that doesn't matter. I because I added this picture of Chicago, and just looked up Chicago. Just added in this picture. I thought it worked pretty well for this uh, composition. So here. There, it said like a uh, bank of Chicago or something like that. I just use this right here spot healing brush and erase it right there. Put my own text, just Chicago right there. And then for this gradient map, you can see these are the colors I used. And you can see before I just took colors from the image so like this black i might have took it from right here this blue i would click it and i would select like right up here this gray i would select the street all of them are taken from the image and it just kind of gives it a uh, uh a cc a cool little like color correction and then for this hue and saturation i just took the hue to the color i liked plus 65 saturation plus 25 lightness and you can see i left the bottom right here and some of the edges this creates a nice lighting effect once I add in the lighting. And then here, for brightness and contrast, minus 150. Erased. I, I went on my uh, layer mask. Pressed B. Was on the um, black. And I just erased where the lighting would hit. The lighting is going to hit right here, right? The lighting is also going to hit up here. If the lighting is coming from back here, it's going to hit this side of the building, this side of the building right here so I left all those parts bright right all right here everything like that next <clears throat> all I did hue and saturation yellow for these uh, lights right here on the lamppost yellow saturation up lightness up linear dodge add brush set it to white opacity flow both just at 100 <clears throat> and all you do literally just click on it you know just make those lights right there Next, I added just a little bit of a smoke. So I went right here, solid color, and I chose a, a image or a color rather from the sky that I thought was a good foggy color. So it was like this peachy color right here. And I kept opacity 100, flow to 9, brush white. And you can see if I paint on, if I paint on, it's just creating a little bit of smoke. And you can see the smoke right there. Next, color balance. Uh, on the highlights, I just made the highlights more red and yellow. You can see down here, just adds a little bit more mood to the picture. Next, this brightness and contrast layer. I uh, turned brightness to 114. Went on the mask right here. Press Control I to where everything was just uh, um, normal. And then I took my black brush this time <clears throat> kept my flow to about 60 white brush actually and I just painted you can see it everywhere this light would hit is where I've painted so I painted this building all right here right here all right here up here I emphasized on all the corners like this roof up here and these pillars right here and yeah, next we're gonna work on the bear is on the right. So first we just drop in our picture of the bear. I messed with the perspective on him a little bit just to make him fit more in the picture. Next, what we did, I just pressed Control J on this bear layer and we added, you click on this. Once you have it under your original bear, go to blur, box blur. And I usually put it about four to five and uh, it creates this, you can see the little glowy effect it has around it, right? Next, for the shadow, 
you control J of the bear again, but this time you add a color overlay, make it black, set it to soft light, go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and um, mess with the opacity. Now for the gradient map, it's the exact same gradient map we did before, all the components of the picture. Color balance. For color balance, really, you just have to mess with everything. Like, there's no right or wrong. You can see the picture has some red, some yellow in it, so that's just all I did. I just added some reds and yellows to him. For the brightness and contrast, the light's coming from the back, so we want the front of him to be brighter and this part to have more shadows, so... I made sure the brightness was on where all of him is dark and I just simply got my black brush and I just erased you see I erased the side of his face it's gonna hit right there it's gonna hit his, hit his back his leg right here okay and then this hue and saturation all I do is turn my light my lightness up to 79 and then I just have my white brush and I paint this thin line around the bear so it looks like the light is directly hitting him right next we're gonna add some lighting in here so same technique i did before right with this peachy color for the smoke i did earlier only difference is i turn my flow up to where it's more drastic and i put it on linear dodge add so it's like lighting and i do a few layers of this see this one's on screen it's gonna add more color and um, I just do it to my liking. Just add a big light source. It doesn't look too good right now, but uh, you'll see once I put in the player subject, the sliding is gonna be hitting him very hard. So <clears throat> so I just drag in my player right here. And I do the same thing I did for the bear, right? I have this blurry picture of him beneath, which creates the glow. Gradient map, same gradient map as everyone before. This hue and saturation, lightness up, and a thin, thin line around him, right? That thin line all around him to create that glow. Next, this part, I did a hue and saturation and I just matched the hue with this peachy color and uh, just match the colors up correctly. And I turn my flow and opacity down and you can see all these, hi the highlights right here. There's highlights right here Highlights coming down, coming down, coming down. Um, over here, this highlight right here, right here, right here. All these highlights right here, you're just gonna get your brush and just make it to the size and just paint them in, right? So they look like that. Brightness and contrast. We had to make the center of him brighter, like his front side, not his edges, because the light's not gonna be hitting his front since it's coming from the back. Here, we just took our lasso tool. You can see his pupils. We just went around his pupils. And then once you do that, so you go around his pupils, you right click, fill, fill it with the same peachy color as every other one. Here, we um, took our low, low opacity as we would for the fog or anything like that. Just obviously lowered the brush size and clicked and clicked and clicked until we got this glowy effect and then we turn up our flow and we add these highlights around the face mask just like this on the nose all around because the next thing i did was i found these uh sparks right here you can see them right there these um sparks and i just added them i added them in on screen and uh you can see i erased them off the body i erased some all around just erase some because I didn't want it to be covering his body completely and um, next I did a jersey glow on him so you can see these oranges right here I just put the color fill to the color of the jersey and I just went with the brush like um, I'd say like 60 opacity 50 flow and I made the brush the same size as the jersey basically zero hardness colored all around made it linear dodge add and I did this for the whites and the blues as well i think it just makes it pop a little bit more next i added this gradient map same same as before basically but this time we have different colors in the background since we've already added some so it's more peachy map we added our um bear on the left back here 
cut him out, made him small so he's in the background, you know. And then for the shadow, same same thing for this shadow over here. Basically, this bear is the same same steps as this bear right here. For our camera raw filter, you can see. I um, turned on saturation of the reds and I dehazed it a little bit. I turned up the whites. I, I contrasted the picture a lot. I s desaturated this blue right here and um, I added some grain to it. And um, yeah, right here, I just added my logo up here. So um, if y'all found this video helpful or if y'all have any critiques or anything like that, y'all just let me know and uh, I'll see y'all next time. Peace.